Marcus Scherzer and Shelby Black with the No Water Ironman Boys game getting ready to start. We have 29 seconds ticking away before the game starts. The uh, boys took the court just after the ladies game. Ladies came up short, uh, if I remember correctly, 27 to 37, roughly in that ballpark. But they, it is obvious that they've got the talent and that they've they've got a bright future in the next week or two or five minutes from now. They played uh, what looked like a, a mature, older team in the ho in the Lady Hominy Bucks. And, uh, but it was a good one. We got a lot to look forward, a lot of fun. These young men, a lot of them played football and had a resurgence in energy with a regular season, 50-50 season, coming out with some energy. Clint Hallett is getting ready to announce the Hominy Bucks. Number 13, Tyrus Hughes. And number 35, Amos Saint-Pahoodle. The Ooh. starters from the Hominy Bucks. I wouldn't want to fight him. Let's <laughs> stand our feet. These are starters for your Noah Ironman. Head coach of Noah Ironman is Gary Hollingshed. He's assisted by Homer Johnson and Matt Smith. Matt Mims, if you remember him from football season, he was one of the assistant football coaches. He brings a lot of energy. And, of course, Coach Hollingshed has always been a basketball coach. He ended up That's helping our, coach football this year. Number one, Dave Velasco. Velasco, number one. That's our number 13, Trenton Smith. Number 13, Trenton Smith. That's our number 6'2", junior, number 14, Mark Bryce. Price, his older brother, four, graduated six, one, last senior, year. He did, and you know what? He looks so much Joe nicer. <laughs> Josiah Clark. Now, Josiah right. was um, uh, the homecoming king, is that correct, for football? Man, I, you know, that's something I just, just put <laughs> that old memory bank in. And you just I lock it up. I th actually, I think he was. <laughs> I think yeah, he was. I think he was. And we could have just made that up. Yeah. We can say whatever we want over here. <laughs> That's true. Nobody can tell us different. There's nobody can tell us right now that we're wrong. Oh, they'll tell us. So we just, just it won't be right now. <laughs> just say all kinds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, 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 sometimes there's, uh, there's some, uh, heck to be paid. Oh, man. Same the media. Silly things. <laughs> nobody likes the media. Dylan Barnes going to be a tip off. And he is up against a giant of a man, number 35. <laughs> yes, number 35 for Hominy is massive. There we go. And this game is on its way. Gabe Velasco, and he's going to drain it. Oh. Oh, see, Marcus, don't say things. I, I, it was already in there. I couldn't have changed that, right? <laughs> it's, that, that's not my fault, is it? It might be. It probably is. Yeah. We're going to blame Let's you. Let's just be honest. So I might, uh, with the guys, I don't recognize them as well out of their football helmets. And you know what? Helmets, I don't know any of these boys except for Dylan. Well, uh, Gabe Velasco, number one, point guard, brings it down. He's a big three-time shooter. Or, uh, he had an athlete. a brother, or I'm assuming it's a brother, um, Michael. And he was Velasco. a little bit younger than me, um, several years younger than me. And I, I vaguely remember him being um, pretty athletic. The Gabe... Like, talk about, he, he's a cat. He gets in the air, and he can just turn himself inside out and upside down. Well, Michael, and he does regularly. Michael was very, um, uh, I don't Squirly. know. Yeah, he, I didn't want, I didn't want to say petite. <laughs> Wiry. Yeah, but, um, Wiry, yeah, go. he's not, he's not a big guy. He's just, uh, but he's quick. 35 uses the body. Of course he does. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, if I had that body, I'd use it too. I am, I despise the word petite, but I, <laughs> I, I'm a short, stocky guy. <laughs> I, uh, I would I'd definitely like to be in a, a tall person's body for a while. You know, he looks a lot like his brother. I'm assuming it's his brother. Gabe? Yeah. Speaking of brothers, this is, uh, oh man, is this Mark? Yeah, uh, we, yeah. And he I, is an animal from outside, too. Ooh, yeah. he starts the season off with an air ball. 
That's going to drive him insane. Oh, let's. Because he is he yeah. is a three point machine. Oh no. I know his parents, Jim and Samantha. They're listening. Price. Yes. Price, yes. How are you guys doing? Nice save. And there's Trenton Smith. Nice. Left hand with the right hand layup. Left side of the board. That was tricky. I need to. I'm enjoying the game too much. I'm not putting points on the board. Marcus, there we go. What are you doing? I am not doing my job. I'm distracted. <laughs> I'm just overwhelmed and excited. Whoa. Downtown Charlie Brown. That was uh, ill advised. That was shot. a long ways away. You know, if I threw it from back there, I probably wouldn't make it to the uh, goal. They talk, you know, if you get deep into the coaching and the uh, philosophy of basketball, is you take high percentage shots, and that just was not a, a good shot. You'll see. There's Mark Price again. Now, Mark will take those shots. Yeah. Him and his brother both yeah. can shoot from NBA 3, they're and both, they're consistent. Yeah, he had an older brother named Matt that was a year younger than me. Mark and is making up for that er He is. He's like, we ball. ain't doing that again. <laughs> they're going 900 miles. Nice. Oh, there's a three-pointer right there. Nice job, Dylan. Seven to four. They scored so fast, I didn't even get the, the first two-pointer before they scored that three-pointer. They're playing with some tenacity. I like the word tenacity. That's a big word. Yeah. I learned it. You learned it? I learned it, and I used it. You learned it? Now. Moving fast. Okay, How many now had to call a timeout to disrupt that rhythm? Yeah. They were like, we've had enough of that. I do see Jace Thompson down there. He's um, in his warm-ups. Oh, I he's see, a stud. Oh, man. I remember him as a child, and he just has grown up to be an all-around great athlete. So, yeah. Um, yeah, he's a stud in every sport he picks up. He played a lot last year. I would say he's a sophomore this year. I feel like that's about right. But he played a lot as a freshman. Yeah. Talk about, you know, we get back in, when, whenever we get into a rhythm, uh, we, we got to get into a rhythm as well. It's just repetition as far as the production side of things. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Coach J, get off the court. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just got to. Oh, man. He's got to deal with Jay. Coach Jay is the Jay best. Jay does his thing. He was my uh, golf coach, and I say that in um, – Yeah, uh, <laughs> I forgot to uh, – I got Quotations. to point that out. He's um, – <laughs> you know, he, he'll he'll tell you he's not a golfer. <laughs> hey, it's about but being you know there what? and giving the opportunity. That's right. He got us there, and he did a great job. <laughs> and he always had us in good spirits. He always had us a, a really good corny joke. Oh, yeah. Um, to the, give us the master dad joke guy. Oh, man. He is the master at dad jokes. Follow him on Facebook. You He's won't be sorry. Ooh, there's another three for Mark Price. Right. Brings it to 10 to 4. Would you say he's the granddaddy he's the, of the yeah. dad jokes? <laughs> he's the Mac daddy. He is um, also expecting oh. a baby soon. Oh, really? Yes. His wife is pregnant. Congratulations, Michelle and Coach oh, Jay. 15, I, uh, not to brag or anything, but uh, <laughs> I'm a pretty good dad joke teller myself. Man, dad jokes are my we, favorite. My dad's full of them. We, uh, if you know Jeff Black, he's oh, full of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and all the listeners are like, oh, no, that's Jeff Black's daughter. <laughs> you, you let it out too early. I did. You should have won a couple of games. I should have waited. <laughs> now we've lost all our listeners. <laughs> Athletic play by Velasco. Kicks Man, back out oh. to Mark Price. Oh, and I. You know what? Again, the that worked out curse. for us. Broadcaster curse. But, yeah, as you said, it worked out. It worked out. But uh, me and me and Jay, I'll see some some ridiculous, like, uh, Walmart or oh. grocery store or something, yeah. and I'll have to just forward Don't. it to him, and we just get into battles going back and forth. <laughs> Don't let the man loose in Walmart with a camera. <laughs> Every product is a joke. Just take his phone at the door. Yep. He would be an excellent Walmart worker. He, he probably knows oh. where everything is. Velasco, quick pass down to Josiah Clark and just wasn't aware. And number 35 is just towering over everybody on the court. I think I remember number four's hair from last year. It would be hard it's to forget. Is a, is a, it is a Gundy-esque hair. <laughs> as, as you know, he has the worst hair. <laughs> As you know what? That's <laughs> talking about dad jokes. Do you know the like the origins of that? I heard him talk about it in an interview one time, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, my son's uh, at Stillwater High School, and 
Is it to uh, embarrass his kids? I needed a haircut, and he's like, Dad, you need a haircut. And he's like, I kind of just didn't do it just to kind of, like, annoy him and embarrass him. I and saw. And he made such a big deal out of it. He's like, I just <laughs> kept letting it grow because oh, he just made no. a big deal out of it. And then, then his team was like, oh, you can't cut it. Nice. There's Mark right there. We talked about that He's early. making up for it. He's making up for that little air ball he had at the beginning. Oh, he's got nine points oh, at least yeah. since then. So He's it, into it. It did not slow him down. No. Look at him. He is in that slow. game. 13 for three. And, and a little off the mark. No good. Nice. A lot of awareness for Trent Smith oh. right down there wide open. That, that was smart. I wouldn't have, um, wouldn't have been that guy. Wouldn't have been that guy. Draws the foul. And that was on the shot. We're throwing it in, though. Okay. <laughs> Again, we need someone that does uh, basketball. We need, we need Will. We need <laughs> Will, come back. <laughs> we need a uh, basketball brain. What's his fiance's name again? Haley. Haley. Um, Haley Millard. Haley, sweet, if you would girl. let Will come back and <laughs> come with him. <laughs> oh, Haley was awesome. She ran the, the scoreboard last year. And I need another girl in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed that three-pointer. I didn't update that. It's actually 13 to four. Done. Mark Price, if I remember correctly, has three of those 13. I, with nine points. Yeah, I wouldn't um, doubt that. He's been on fire ever since he had that air ball. <laughs> well, he'll shoot from that three point from that uh, NBA. Well, let me tell you, he's time. got the power. I mean, he's a he's a very tall young man. He's got muscle. Got a good uh, basketball stature. I believe he golfs tall too. People. Nice. You got a little fast break. And how many bucks cover it well? Recover. And Trent Smith comes up. Ooh, that was tricky. Pass. Dylan Barnes going in strong. Dylan, nice. Dylan will shoot a three. It's not his forte. His forte is exactly what he just did. Yeah, he's killing it. He he likes to drive the lane, and he will draw tons of fouls. <laughs> Again, you know, that's just a Barnes thing. They um. If he doesn't have 12 new bruises by the end of the night, He's, he's not even up, playing. He's upset with himself, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the guys are looking good. It's 15 to 4 in the first period. First period, as always, is brought to you by the Depot Cafe. Lisa, Tony, Ashley, and the rest of the gang. Home of the uh, delicious cinnamon rolls, among other things. I take my um, my niece in there to eat because she loves when the train comes by. Oh, you know, she's yeah. She's two, so... I think I've had my kids in there uh, once or twice, and they didn't get to see a, a train. I've I've been in there, I believe, one time. Uh, Trista and Gage Milliman, uh -huh. their little boy Henry. He's oh hilarious. my god, he's adorable. That boy. He's a handful, but he's not, so cute. There's not very many that love trains as much oh, as him. Oh man. And uh, when the big boy came through, Trista just had stories on stories about him and his grandpa, how much they love trains. That's a fun thing for grandkid and a grandpa to get into. Oh, yeah. Velasco misses the first one. And, oh, he's off on the second. That is rare for that him. That is rare. I he is a good free throw shooter. Tenacious defense by that Trenton word again? Smith and Gabe Velasco. But number four in the hair puts it in for two, brings them to six. 15 6 with a minute and 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Oh. Brought to you by. That's a. What was that? That's unfortunate. That's a second off pass to uh, Josiah Clark. Josiah Clark is, is uh, and I mean this with the utmost love, he's not a flashy basketball player. You know, he, he just looks. He's so athletic, though. He is key. Even yeah. on the football field, that boy yeah, had so many tackles, and you don't realize it. He, no. He's just there all the time. Yeah. Uh, he just is consistent. Yeah. Mr. Consistency is what I would have to. Which you need on a team so bad. Oh, yeah. He's an anchor. It's I think you call them anchors. An oh, yeah. Those. They don't have to be, they don't have to have the highest stats in any one thing, but they are just They're consistent. just the ones that, you know. Mm -hmm. That anchored the team. <laughs> yep. 
And did you see that little play right there? It wasn't any good, but right. that's Gabe Velasco's athleticism right there. Yeah. Must be hereditary. So they say. Yeah. It must be for that family anyway. See, Dylan chooses not to shoot the three and drive the lane. Yeah. Well, listen, Dylan's a powerhouse. I wouldn't, you know, if he's going to be running up there with the ball. <laughs> oh, he's he's willing. Yeah, he's, he's willing. He's ready and willing to sacrifice the Dylan body. is ready and willing. <laughs> willing Dylan. Willing Dylan. Oh, Lord. We are so Good lame. look. Oh, scoreboard. Oh, it hit the scoreboard way up there. <laughs> Too strong, bro. Too strong. I was zoomed in too far. Oh, there's Dylan's dad, front row, Doug Barnes Carpentry. <laughs> He's not on a roof right now? No. Him and Noah. Oh, that's that's Matt Ackerson. Hey, guys. Shout out to the dads in the audience. Yeah. That's um, Cole Ackerson's dad. And now, which one is dad. which one is it? Colt. Colt. Cole. Mm -hmm. And which what? Where is he at? Is he? Um, what number is he wearing? Oh man, don't ask me that. He's down here on the on the bench, right? I yes, I think he's number twenty two from the back of his head. Twenty two. I I believe that's him. You know, is if he, he turned around and looked at me, I'd be able to tell you. Is he a freshman? You. I he's either a freshman or sophomore, and I think he's a freshman. Um, he's young. He's very young. Twenty three seconds left in the first period. Brought to you by the Depot Cafe. Getting ready to wrap up this first period, 15 to six. Know what an Ironman lead. And it's gonna be a fun season. These guys. Nice. There we go, Trenton Smith knocks down three. Brings it 18 to six. One and a half seconds left on the clock for the first period. These guys, uh, there's a lot of athletes that came a week or two ago from the football field to the basketball gym and uh, they they come off of a season that they are really proud of and they they by all means should got to the first round of the playoffs played a heck of a season oh. carrying that energy over yeah, to the basketball four, season four. You're no one Ironman 18, no Harmony, but so I'm going to update second quarter second quarter brought to you by Doug Barnes Carpentry the man who's usually on a roof, but he's not tonight. <laughs> but he's, he's not to tonight. Watch he, his kiddos. Doug Barnes is right there in the maroon. Hey, Doug. <laughs> you know they watch this later. Oh, yeah. And they're like, ah. What is he eating? This or is he not? What is? No, he's not eating. I don't know what he's doing. They're selling candy bars. <laughs> that is the best thing. That's true dad work right there, selling candy bars for fundraisers. Ugh. <laughs> uh. I love it. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that, but the drum line, extremely talented. And our band's just killing it this year. They, we were talking about this during football season, and they, I'm not even joking, they're out practicing in the same heat as oh. the football boys and as often. Yes, even more often, my, um, uh, Sam and Ashley, who own the coffee shop, their daughter Addison, she's um, uh, on the quads, quad drums, but she's also a cheerleader, so she's not um, she's not in the band this evening. She's on the sidelines cheering, but um, those drums weigh about 50 pounds, <laughs> and I mean, it's just it's insane. And they practice, like you said, uh, with the football guys in the heat and the cold. It doesn't matter; they're practicing. Because so. they got to march in the same thing. They as the do. Guys it does not matter what the weather is. If they're marching, they got to learn how to march, and they're doing a great job. Ooh, good defense by Gabe. Almost got the turnover there. He's a pickpocket too. Yeah. Big man comes down. And it's good. Puts it in. Two points for how many bucks? Eighteen to eight. No one Ironman lead in the second period. Yeah, nice. And Mark goes for another oh. one. Hey. Just shy. He's uh, three for five. Man, that's good roughly. stats, I think. I, yeah. Well, that's nine points out of man, four or five shots. Don't be throwing any math at me. <laughs> <laughs> Big man puts another two on the board. Yeah. Brings it to 18 to 10. Ironman on top. 
Mark Price. I didn't see that foul, but it happened. Oh, Ooh. big man about made it fall in. Second effort. Josiah Clark got it. Nice. Getting the ball down the court quick. Trenton Smith up. Oh. Oh, he almost lost, left his toes. Number 11 wanted the NBA. <laughs> Takes it anyways. Kind of oh. a off-balance shot. Gave Velasco oh, he's in athleticism. It. That guy can can dribble that ball. It it's, don't matter if it's off you know, your foot, knee, elbow. It's He's doing it. Back your head, yeah. it don't matter. Mark Price with the drive, and he's nice. good. Mark. Nice job, Mark. Price. 20 to 10. We've got some really athletic boys on this team. I know a lot of them played football, but they're excelling in basketball too. Oh, he, he's trying to draw them off. He's like, yeah, you think I'm going to shoot this three? <laughs> um, I'm not. Tricked you. <laughs> Just not going to. And line up for Noah, number four, Jake Bowman. Jaden Bowman. I remember calling that name. Mark Price is so hard to guard because you know he'll oh, pull man. up and shoot that shot. Usually he will. you don't worry about him whenever they're that far out. Nice. Jaden Bowman comes in with two points immediately Bowman. off the bench. That's what we've traditionally during basketball called the spark plug player of the game, come in off the bench and immediately add some energy to the game. I mean, we could easily separate it out into MVP, spark plug, differentiate all that kind of stuff, but... I may need to tighten that up. My tripod is kind of being a little lazy here. I swear it's not me. I just need to tighten that bolt. I yeah, think it's, it's probably just me. <laughs> or, or it's just it's uh, the camera guy. Yeah. What are you doing, camera guy? I'm sure my grandmother, who's going to eventually watch this on the TV, <laughs> is going to be like, oh, Shelby's just doing so good. Is that your grandma voice? Yeah, that's my granny does she voice. Know, does she know that you do a voice? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. She that's she loves it. The hair puts up, too. I say that lovingly. Yeah. I'm sure he is very proud of his hair. <laughs> you don't you don't grow a masterpiece like that and not proud of it. Oh, Mark Price almost puts another is three in. Is it a in. perm? It has to be a perm. Oh man, I bet you if I if I just let my hair dry naturally when it was that long. Really? Oh. Little uh, little intentional grounding over there. That ball sailed. Four minutes, 38 seconds left in the second period. Brought to you by Doug Barnes Carpentry. Doug Barnes is in the house. He is, and he's selling candy bars. Selling candy bars. <laughs> I see him and candy Matt Atkinson over there just selling candy bars for the kiddos. Man. That's I, that's the best dad move ever. I could go for a candy bar, to be honest. You know, I bet if you go over there to Doug, he'd give you one. Got a job. Got a job to do. <laughs> this is the sacrifices I make for this TV station and the people of Noah County. We're restricting ourselves from these candy bars. I want a candy bar, but I'm going to deny myself a candy bar because I don't want to. Uh, those are those really good candy bars. Have you had the <laughs> peanut butter ones? Oh, man. Uh, you had me at peanut butter and candy and bars. <laughs> Matthew, uh, my boyfriend, he loves candy. Like any kind of candy, he's here for it. I'll have to get him one on the way home. I am. I can't do like the sweet tart type candy. I can do. Oh. I'm more of a baked goods kind of. Well, guy. Matthew's birthday is tomorrow, and his mom is making him a famous Heath Bar candy cake. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Happy birthday, Matt. Yeah, happy birthday, babe. 
20, 26. I was thinking something else that we could do during the broadcast is... Uh, Birthday shout-outs. Yeah, shout-outs, for sure. I had a young man, uh, dad, uh, Facebooked me one time. And he's like, hey, my my guy. Oh, another three points. And they're closing the gap here. We got they a 25-17 to 17 game. Ball hits the, the back of the backboard. Yeah. And I used to think that that was out of bounds, but it is still in play. But I well, uh, had a young man, his dad... Facebook me and I happened to look at my uh, phone during halftime at the football game and I was able to get a shout out to him and uh, I believe it's Cole something yes I, I his name was Cole Cole yeah maybe Jackson was his last name oh I can't remember well Cole if you watch football and you watch <laughs> basketball his shout name's out probably to not you. even Cole <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Ted it's, it is Frank I, I think it's I think it is cool. Well, you know who you are, young man, and um, thank you for listening. Ooh, look at that move. Oh, that it doesn't good. fall in for him. The hair up there, you ever seen that movie? Or the air up there is the name of it. Uh, oh, Mark Price <laughs> from outside of the stadium. Uh, Mark sure. is kind of on a, a dry streak. I think there's four Three, that he's missed. Four, but he is so he is has so much potential. It's that coach is not going to get mad for him taking that because he oh, hits no. him so consistently. Now, what grade is Mark in? Uh, I believe he's a senior this year. Is he really? Uh, well, he may be a little bit younger. His brother graduated last year, and I thought they were just they, a year they, apart. I think they are. Oh, my God, I'm getting so old. Oh, Shelby, <laughs> you, you've got to quit. <laughs> you've got to quit with old. They were just so young whenever I left high school. <laughs> you know how hurt you feel whenever you feel old and then you say it out loud? Yeah, just add then, 10 to you. And then it's just like triples <laughs> for me. <laughs> and then, you know, people that watch me grow up in this town and are listening to this. And they're like, like, oh, man. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Like, I, I'm, I don't even live here anymore. Fast break. Josiah Clark. Nice. In. Josiah Clark. Good play mm, all nice around. Nice job, oh. Josiah. Gabe Velasco with the eyes down the court. Ooh, Josiah almost had that again. Good screen by Dylan Barnes. And uh, Dylan gets his name mentioned a lot because Dylan's just in on everything. Oh, yeah. Dylan would have very much preferred that kid plow into him. <laughs> I'm serious. Because he would have. That's what, what happens is it just riles him up. Yeah. It just, it just it gets he, him pumped. He plays with intensity. And well, that it's just, hard to he feeds um, on it. exactly, and it's hard not to whenever you've been in uh, football for you know so many months, right. and then all of a sudden you're playing basketball and you're oh, not yeah. allowed to hit and oh, yeah. <laughs> you're not allowed to tackle people. Second, and third efforts on this possession, Ironman come out without or with them uh, keeping them out of the basket. Oh, and then Mark, very athletic play, yeah. was not able to pull it through because there was a foul on the play, obviously. Scores, uh, and I was not keeping up well. It is 29 to 17. One minute and 31 seconds left in the second period. Brought to you by Doug Barnes Carpentry. He's not roofing. He's selling candy bars. <laughs> he's going to hate this. <laughs> That's okay. No, nah, he's got a really good sense of humor. He'll we're be all right. Gonna, we're just going to keep going. <laughs> I, I've said multiple times, he's one of the easiest people to just oh come my up and start a conversation. Oh, with. yeah. He's so chill. So whenever he lets us know that he's easy to talk to, we're going we're gonna to poke fun. <laughs> yeah. It's just going to happen. 31-17. Putting points on the board. It's going to be a fun season for these guys, too. A lot of returners from last year. We did lose some. Uh, we lost the, the older price boy. Uh, and then maybe <laughs> one or two, but... He wasn't even the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, the senior, yeah. <laughs> Woo, that was Trent a big Smith. throw. Wow. Heads up he play, got, being in the right position at the right time. He got it, and uh, that was bad camera work on my part. I did not get did that. Did you miss but that? That I was did. the Westfit play of the game. <laughs> so sorry, Westfit. <laughs> I was West. Sorry. sorry. 57 seconds, 56 seconds before half. Ironman up with a hefty lead. Oh, that was Mark a nice Price. move. Oh, got a travel in. Oh, it's not allowed? Nope. Oh. Well, I mean, he, he just left. He had both feet moving at one time. Well, I thought he did a great job. Oh, it looked cool. Yeah, it looked great. 
33 to 17. Man, number 35, just he towers over everybody. Oh, oh, oh. See, Look at that, a little cannot, Velasco got that off of that. Underestimate number 35, it. wow, congratulations, with yes. With the no-look pass, yeah. who was that, Dylan, that came in and finished that off? Uh, it was either Dylan I, or, or I, Trent Smith. I, was mm, I don't know. Do we have a rewind on this? <laughs> That's something else I would like. It's That's another feature that... Instant replay? Instant replay, yeah. I've looked into a million different ways of doing it, and it's all complicated and time-consuming. Look at them. They're selling candy bars again. Candy these bars. kids are... Man, they're loving these candy bars. Maybe we need to sell candy bars to, for KGCT candy bars. <laughs> Nice. Trent Smith downfield again. Downfield? See, that's a uh, yeah. down down court. Well, that's the thing is Trent was our was our quarterback. Yeah. And you got to have a guy that has eyes downfield all time. Oh the, man. The term, and he's been down on the other end with didn't even have to have a fast break. He was just there. He's seen the play develop and he knew that he could get back and he wouldn't be covered. That's the third time he's been in position. I'm telling you, the, when they launch the ball like that, it's just like, wow. Mm -hmm. That's some force behind that ball. It takes a lot of, takes a lot of energy to launch that. Oh, there's the Dane train. The Dane train. Man, he was an insane player for football. Yep. I'm, I'm excited to watch him in basketball. Mr. Consistency as well. Oh, man. His mom, Markeisha, and his All grandma, right, Linda. Um, oh, we seen Linda today. Yes, Linda came into the shop today, and I didn't put two and two together. Yes, that's her grandson. <laughs> Little bitty Linda. That's that's Linda's grandson. <laughs> oh, nice. That is Bowman again. Don't go smashing cheerleaders. Oh, they don't care. The boys, not the cheerleaders. The cheerleaders <laughs> probably care. <laughs> Oh, the links we will go. Oh, man. Uh, did I ever tell you about the story about how I uh, got tackled um, when I was in high school? Um, I was a photographer on the sidelines of the football field. Mm -hmm. The student section leaned over, and they said, you folded like a lawn chair. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that ends our first half of the inaugural Noah Ironman basketball game here in Noah, Oklahoma, on the Ty Hewitt Court. We are facing the Hominy Bucks tonight. Noah to Ironman are looking good with a 35 to 17 lead. Second period ends. Doug Barton's Carpentry, appreciate your support bringing the second quarter to us. We have on the halftime clock, nine minutes and 53 seconds. So here's another adjustment uh, from football to basketball. Half times don't last near as long and normally we have a Paul Hughes Capstone Halftime uh, Halftime Show brought to you by Paul Hughes and Capstone Music. But we don't have, uh, this is a little bit different. We've got to adapt. So we're going to go ahead and cut this feed, and we will be back in approximately, it says 9 minutes, 24 seconds on the clock. We'll be back in about 7 minutes. So don't go away. We'll see you in 7-ish minutes. System settings live stream set and